Welcome to GCSE Biology Required Practical Activity 7, which is looking at the effects of practice on reaction times. To do this experiment, we're going to use a reaction timer, which in this case is a ruler, um, and basically uh, somebody is going to catch that ruler, and we're going to time how long it takes for them to catch that ruler. To make it easier, we actually put the times on the ruler for the different distances, so you can see that uh, a fast reaction time will be something like 0.1 seconds, a slower reaction time will be 0.3 seconds. So what you're going to do is you're going to need a person to catch the ruler. Now, um, so we have a person here who will put his arm on the table. As you can see, his arm's on the table. Um, he's got his hands like this in a U shape. Okay, and I'm going to hold the ruler just above his hand and I'm not going to tell him when I am going to drop the ruler. Okay, it's important that you don't tell them. Okay, so he's caught the ruler and I, the measurement I'm going to take is at the top of his hand, which in this case the nearest line is there, which is 0 0.2 seconds. So I'm going to record that in my table I prepared earlier. Okay, so attempt, his first attempt, I'm gonna put as 0 0.2 seconds. Okay, so we'll do it again. Okay, so exactly the same. Okay, make sure it's at about zero. It has to be uh, not touching. Make sure that the ruler doesn't touch because the person will know when you dropped it. Okay, so this time he's uh, got a faster reaction time. This case it is 0.18 seconds because there's 1, 0.15, 16, 17, 18. So 0.18 seconds. So again, I'm going to record it on here. I'll do it for a third time. Okay. And again, I'm going to go with 0.18 seconds. So what you do is you continue to do that for 10 times. Okay, so you're going to record all the data um, in a table of results. Um, and you're then going to analyze the data. What you could do as well is you could investigate um, hands. So whether left hands and right hand has a different uh, effect on reaction time. Um, or different people. The main thing is about reaction time is that if you think about the usefulness of reaction time, athletes um, have to improve their performance, so they are constantly trying to improve their reaction time, and you can do that through practice. Okay, so um, you once you've done it with one person, you can do it with another person, and then you can compare your results um, to see the effects of reaction time. So that is the required practical activity.